Hello, my fellow vampires! This is Molucha, and welcome back to V Rising. In the previous episode, we made some technological advancements with all the crafting stations that we placed. We actually placed a workbench and we did place a research desk. We got the blood altar that lets us track all the different type of V-bloods that are out there. And we killed Keely the Frost Archer, which actually in hindsight, um, I had a range attack and I hardly ever used it. It could have saved me so much effort running around uh, behind her. And then something else I noticed only really later is now that we have the copper uh, tools, the copper swords or gear or whatever you want to call them, the copper weapons, I guess you could call them, we got a second attack. So we got a primary attack, that was the one we were constantly using, but every copper has a different attack. So for the sword we get spin attack really really nice for the hatchet and we do gonna need to wait so there is a cooldown on all of the weapons the same cooldown so if you use one uh the second ability uh or the actually the first ability because the, the the first one is actually just a plain melee hit so play melee hit is like the double slash one one and double and then if you use the actual ability you get this like flip with uh, double slashes outwards looking really really nice. For the maze we get of course the big swings and then for the ability we get an overhead slam on the target which is really really nice. And then for the spear of course we got the regular thrust and we got the speed thrust. Holy hell I have not realized this uh, that i have not realized this sooner is just plain stupid we've gotten gotten so much more damage in especially with the range spells but yeah for this episode we of course are gonna make some more progress towards our journal and from what i can see we are finally gonna be able to place a castle so i'm building a castle a more fitting place to rest to recover to rule Complete the castle room by laying down floors and buildings buildings surrounding castle walls to generate a roof. So this place, the wooden, uh, well, well, the wooden palisade walls, they don't get a roof. That's why we basically still need to use this mist brazier to, in the daytime, have an area where we can work in. But as we already know, the area is kind of. If I, I think I don't think I shut it off ever. So let's toggle it off. Now you can see, like, the shadow area is getting smaller and smaller. And if we put it back on... Shouldn't there be, like, <laughs> an area getting... Oh, there it is! There it is. So it's getting bigger and bigger. So, yeah, we definitely need to make uh, progress towards actually building a castle, getting a roof on top of our head, and no longer being able to. Because this chest is basically in the sun, so in the daytime, I cannot access this chest without burning myself. So what do we need to do? Complete a castle room by laying down floors. So let's quickly check build. And then we have production, of course, refinements, all the benches. So we still need to place a blood press which we can do uh the research desk we have uh the vermin nest a nest for luring vermin into your castle so i think that's gonna like attract rats so we can gather more rats easily then the minions the, the blood altar we of course have and then storage the vampire lockbox is only eight planks definitely want to place that as well but we've got castle now and with castle comes floors a castle floor foundation section for building a castle interior we got walls so a reinforced wall a reinforced windowed wall uh, entrance a reinforced pillar and a gate castle and it does say that we can go gate castle gate castle servant lock so doors are used to keep unwanted enemies out requires an archway to be placed servants will not open or close this door oh so the servants can actually like walk around in your castle that's pretty cool but if you place these doors they basically cannot open them they stay in that specific room but to build this we need stone bricks and i've been so we got windows as well and then wallpaper so 
I'm really not sure. This is a different texture for inside of your wall. I, I, have, I have no idea. But yeah, we've been looking and it's stone bricks. And so far, I have... Well, I found it, of course. I've did a little bit of research. So if we go to production and crafting refinement, we come at the grinder all the way at the end. So the tannery, we did place in the grinder. A workstation for turning raw materials into bricks and dust. And we're going to need wet stones for that. Copper ingots and planks. Now, wet stones is something that we can craft. And I think... Wasn't it here? Yeah. But it's an unknown recipe. So far. And... How can we actually get it? Well, if we check out the map. Remember where we were uh, going after the frost archer in the previous episode? So if you look on the different areas... Bandit encampment, bandit trapper camp. You can actually see the important loot that drops there, which re is re again really, really useful. So if you want uh, planks, core thread, or paper for possible loot, it's not guaranteed, but it's possible loot in that area. We can actually go here and farm that materials out there. But I've been busy a little bit in the bandit encampments uh, here, which does drop whetstones. And I did place a couple more chests because, yeah, I, I, I just didn't have enough spots. So if we check out Blacksmith, we do have seven whetstones over here. Oh, excuse me. And what else did we need? It's copper ingots and planks. Copper ingots. We got 72. More than enough. And lumber. Planks. So, yeah, I have been busy crafting up planks and my stone chest is full in... Uh, well, basically, in, I got a couple stone bricks and a couple stone dust, but just from farming outside, not from creating it myself. So definitely going to need more of those. And then if we go not crafting, but building menu, there we go. We can actually make, holy crap, this is actually pretty big. I can only make one. Oh, yeah, because I need one more whetstone. So we got a grinder right now, and in the grinder, we can make... Regular stone into stone bricks and stone dust. And then clay. Apparently clay is something in the game. With stone bricks we can make stony bodies. And then clay with water we can make a clay mold. And then bones will turn into grave dust. And an unknown recipe is gem dust and ghost crystals into spectral dust. So again, more resources that we can craft and again, uh, we do want to make sure that eventually we do set up a workshop floor. So we can place this mechanic in there and actually get the 25% decrease in resources and a 25% increase in speed. So for now, I'm going to put in all the stone. I'm going to keep farming because, yeah, to build out the base that I can. Now that we do have, if you check the, ca uh, the castle heart, we have 80 border. We have 80 blocks we can place. So I'm going to need a lot and a lot of resources to actually start building the castle that I want. To specifically set up different rooms already. And I've been looking around how I want to set it up. But I think this complete main area is going to need an overhaul. But first, we need to grind stones, guys. So yeah, only logical that I set up a second one. Uh, sadly enough, it didn't fit in here. So I kind of set them this side and i have been a little bit at work trying to design my first base but i'm i'm i'm, I'm really not sure <laughs> i'm really not sure about it so for now i created one two three four five rooms and then this area over here i was thinking of making it like an open courtyard i know there's like fences in the game so actually make fences with a gate that we come across like enter the castle like an entrance to the castle then actually have the front entrance over here from the castle but do have two uh like doors towards the i'm a pve server so it doesn't matter if i have doors towards my uh building area and yeah i've got basically two rooms the problem i saw here was oh yeah right it's not a problem anymore so the problem was, I'm kind of going to need to stay in the shadow. So the problem was that I built a gate here, but it didn't let me place a gate over here. But it should be uh, fundamentals. Yeah, 
So if I do this now. So yeah, that's a little bit closer. I'm not sure if I want to place a gate in there. Because it's always going to be like open towards that side or open towards this side. And that will actually like limit the, the, the room that I have. Even if it's with a little. So if we check... So, the door will always be all on this side or on this this side. So, I'm not really sure. I do want to place uh, the doorway in there, but not really the door. And that means I can do that on the other side as well. And this was the limitation that I had. It does say 20, but yeah, I'm, I'm tw at 80 out of 80 borders right now. So, <laughs> I'm not really sure what the max border is, but... I already have a feeling that it's not going to be enough. Can I place that from here? No. Let's try not to get burned. Move, 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 move. Perfect. So we place this one here. Yeah, okay. And the workshops can extend later on to the outside a little bit more. But for now, I think a 6 on 2 is big enough. So what we are going to do right now, because if we look at the castle... Yo, I'm burning up uh, castle flooring. I don't have the proper flooring yet for the different rooms, and I'm not really sure where I can get them. I'm not sure if they're behind the blood altar. So let's quickly check. No. Gear level too low. So they're definitely not below these guys. So I'm not really sure where I can get them. Maybe they're in the research bench or something like that. The structures, there is structures in here, armor, weapons, magic, and consumables. So I'm not really sure, but for now, uh, I am gonna start with uh, transporting all the different workstations into their specific areas. Uh, that way I can maybe set up one or two more and actually, like, increase the crafting. Because I was farming so many stone that my two workbenches here, my two uh, grinders couldn't keep up with the amount of stone that was gathering. So uh, yeah, that's the next part that I'm gonna do. Let's basically do this and then run around and place them in their specific area. Alright, so we are <laughs> around 45 minutes later uh, for me just placing whatever I needed to place. And well, yeah, Kind of waiting on the stone. We kind of need, I think it was 49 walls. Uh, but we, if we look at the journal quest, uh, we do need to have uh, castle rooms by laying down floors and building surrounding castle walls to generate a roof. So we are going to need to lay down the flooring as well as the, well, as the walls to actually make it a, an official castle. Or else it just doesn't count. So, yeah, the floors is gonna be a lot of work, but we are gonna start with the walls. And it should not actually. There's a problem. Yeah, they do look nice. I do wanna put a window here and there. <laughs> now that I think about it, so let's do a window in the middle. In the middle, or. Do I want to have one on the outside here as well? I think I think later on we're going to need to put another workshop there. So yeah, let's keep it like that. And then this one, we need a gate in this one. Uh, we are going to put a window here. And then change these up. Yeah, I do, look, I do have to say the structure of the buildings does look nice. And then we have castle gates. It's a plain one. Gate servant lock. So, yeah, for now we're gonna... We don't have servants yet. So we're gonna have to figure that out later. Windows. We got the plank window or we got a window with bars. So this is basically open. But if we place this one, we can... Like, do it open? Do it open. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I wish it was bars with the option to open. Let's remove this one. Let's place this one. They constantly being open. I'm not sure if the sun can actually come through. I 
I think I like this one more. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure. We'll we'll see about that later on. Uh, for now, I'm gonna go with the iron bars. Yeah, something like that. And uh, yeah, we're gonna complete then. Of course, our prediction calls walls. Bam, 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 bam. I'm gonna of course switch up every wall that we have in here. So definitely want to make these gates on the outside. Definitely want to make that gates that the servants can't open. Because uh, else it would mean that if I have servants and this is like an entrance to the outside, they basically would be able to open it, not close it, and enemies, and I'm talking about NPCs in this uh, matter, enemies would be able to just walk in, right? So definitely want to set it up that way. And we are going with the regular door, of course, again. That's coming along nicely. So if I do... Oh, no, no, no. I wanted to place... Can I... So, yeah, okay. So you can just switch them up later on. And have one more. And now... Yeah, look at that. So now it actually gets a rooftop. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. All right. So, yeah, we are going to need to... Continue this entire place, right? Of course, that means I got a lot more farming to do, guys. But it's coming along. Let's open up this. We kind of don't want to have a floor in our back in our front yard. <laughs> so let's uh, remove this one. Can I remove this one? Space. Seriously, can I not remove this one? Once you build floors, you can't remove them. See, if I click on this one and I would press space, it would actually delete it. Is it because walls? Maybe if I do floors? If I have nothing selected? Production, maybe? No. Can I have nothing selected? Don't tell me I cannot remove this floor. That is going to be such brain, a brain fart for me. If I do this. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, my mind was going all over the place. Here we go. Another <laughs> wall that I kind of forgot. And the last piece of the floor, guys. Until we get the right floor. And we can actually, like, increase our... Uh, well, decrease our production cost. But, bam. Our castle is done, I think. Let me take a look. So I did implement a couple uh, gate, a uh, couple walls here, a uh, couple windows here on the outside. It's kind of sad that we can't get an overview of our castle. From what I can see, like the textures on top, pretty nice. For PvP, if you can look into bases like this, that's gonna be quite handy to, to know where the enemy is actually set up. Um, and my wooden coffin, I cannot place inside. So, kind of strange. But we do get a blueprint for a stone coffin. So I presume we can place that one inside. And something else we can do is actually get this one. So... I place it inside to be able to work a little bit, but now that we actually have a rooftop, I can actually set this one outside, creating like a border in our front yard where we can actually like still hang around during the daytime, right? And I cannot move the castle heart. So the castle heart is gonna be in my front yard. Um, not really sure if I'm a fan of that, and I don't think... Yeah, I cannot dismantle it because there's floors connected. And if I dismantle it, I think my entire structure goes down. So let's claim. Technology unlocked stone a coffin. And why have I a coffer in my hands? And then Lord of the Manor, a worthy place to rest, binds to a stone coffin. So let's check out fundamentals and then... A stone coffin, we need grave dust. Let's put in... Should be enough, right? So we're gonna need to wait a little bit. 
But yeah, as you can see, the uh, in confined castle room is lighting up, so we get a 25 reduction in timer on all of our crafting benches, which is really good. But definitely, definitely uh, want to work towards the matching floors. 25% in resources is really, really good. And yeah, sun is up, but we are in a castle, so we no longer need to fear actually playing the game well at least not when we are working in our castle right and i don't notice like the entire episode i got something popping up here on the right side j for new what do we got new is it the frost thingy we already looked at that right i think that's the only thing new vampire powers blood mints so there's a lot of vampire powers hmm why is this why is this a uh, question mark and then we do have emotes as well but yeah we already selected this one so i'm not really sure did i unlock another one doesn't look like it how much longer do we gonna need to wait do how many do we need six stone yeah six okay so four or five more minutes <laughs> Now we're gonna how long is it let's let's check it out 50 seconds 94 seconds okay that's not too bad three more and let's pull out the last bones so we don't uh, waste a little bit and that way I can uh, actually light my ears <laughs> let's see if I can light them before I start taking damage oh dude expand <laughs> Expand a little more. Expand a little more. Don't think he's gonna get towards the. Eh, maybe close enough. Yeah, it was close enough. There we go. And now our outside courtyard is protected again. Hell yes. And yeah, let's place uh, this stone coffin, right? So we actually have a proper spawn. So 20 bricks, 6 grave dust. Holy hell, it's big! Oh, that's way bigger than I expected. Um, we're gonna need to, gonna need to relocate this one. Let's place it along the wall. There we go. It's better than a stone coffin. It's so freaking big. <laughs> Let's turn it around. Let's make sure we're placing it in the middle of the room. Something like this yeah sure why not and hold to sleep what does it say it has it has writing on top Ooh, look at that yeah proper proper place to sleep a temporalis requires attorney immort immortua yeah my latin is really not that good Oh, the coffin really does look good. Is that a female on top? Yeah, it looks like a female. Is that my, is that my queen? I'm gonna need to find my queen. Anyway, guys, let's claim this one. Technology unlocked. Servant coffins constructed. Interact with a servant coffin. Coffer, a coffin. That is gonna be for the next episode. Let's, uh, yeah, let's do it like this and like this. Can I? Quickly look up. Yeah, there we go. The moon is rising. The day has ended. My castle is built. And I'm going to end this episode up here. If you want to see more of my quest progression in V Rising or any other game that I might play on my channel, just hit that subscribe button. It would always help out a lot. I do hope you enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.